This video is about how to graft roses so we can have all kind of colors in our rosin and we don't have to buy new rose bushes, we can enjoy the old one. This is about the tools we needed. We need a CK, we need a cutting tool and we need a raffia or fake raffia and also the uh, cover up with the product with a seal. And this is how I cut the roses in an angle and you can see how similar size and lengths in an angle I cut together and I push together in a process that's going to be matching so the liquid in an old and a new piece it's going to be continuously and that's how we're going to uh, get this done. And you can see I can leave two buds after the cutting and um, that's about we need. We don't need more and you can see on two of them on this one and the surface need to be smooth and probably important that have the same size on both sides. And we can do V shape cutting too and I use just using this one and you can see I face together and I'm using the uh, raffia plastic. to plastic raffia to put together and make it tight and so it will be very firm and uh, probably the best if you cut off a little torn so it's easier to do it and you can see cover it thoroughly and the end you just uh, make a knot two of them so it's very firm you can see it and that's very important and you have to do it every time to make sure those surfaces are tight after that we applying sealing and I use like a tar you can buy it at yard birds and or long drugstore or some kind of garden stool and thoroughly cover up this uh, surfaces that was uh, covered by the uh, raffia or the fake raffia that's made of plastic and make sure this is thoroughly covered and you can see and it's all done and uh, you can see how sturdy it moved together doesn't get air into it so the liquid that's coming from the bottom uh, going to the new buds and that's the key of the success you can see here some examples they are already uh, coming the buds and I did it in two weeks ago and this is another example I just make a surface length about two inch you can see it and in an angle and uh, make sure the two angle is the same and uh, the outside green area is matching each other so you can't graft bigger to a smaller because it's gonna not match that's very important on the process so the liquid going to the new section as well and uh, this is the finish and uh, you can see again it's very tight and it's moved together and you can see sealed by the plastic already and uh, it's uh, this is already uh, used the tar I, I bought the tar and I le left a little leaves in it so the, actually the new section sucks the water up to the leaves as well and I could cut it off a little bit the leaves so you don't need a lot and I used two buds on the top you can see it's very tight and you can see it's totally sealed again and uh, just a little leaves on the top again and the end also sealed. You can see the very end, it's very important that you're sealing it. So here is more examples coming that uh, already has uh, little buds that I mean the leaves coming coming up and uh, once you have done this you, you see I always use two or maybe three you don't need more buds on the top and when you have that this is how the the new rose is gonna be. This is the red roses and I use the orange and the yellow on the top and you will have a beautiful garden that you can enjoy when the spring times come. Enjoy it!